Within this video, we're going to go ahead and create a fly through of this area. And it's actually really easy to do, deceptively easy, actually. So to get started, come down here in the ribbon and go ahead and choose your media area and go ahead and then choose video. Now this default project has two in it already, but we're going to go ahead and just create a new one. So to do that, we'll just click on this create new button down here in the bottom left. And now you'll notice that down here in the bottom, we have a little timeline as well as a couple little plus signs right here and right here. So we're going to use these little plus symbols to add keyframes or basically set where we want the camera to be at. So first off, we want to go ahead and move the camera to where we want it. So I'm going to start here at this location and I'm just going to move my camera forward and we're going to say, let's just kind of go into our house right here. And we're going to stop right before we get to it. Now all I need to do is actually press this little plus sign right here and we can add in a new keyframe. So if I scrub through this, you'll notice that our camera will actually fly through this little area. Now, the angle on this is not exactly perfect, so that's actually really easy to change because I'm gonna get about three quarters of the way there, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera so it's still kind of facing the door. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one right here. And that way we'll add another keyframe right here in between. So we'll go ahead and click that. And now as we scrub through this, you can see we stay focused kind of on that door and then we turn to actually come into it. Now we can refine this more and more as needed. And of course we can click on these specific keyframes and hit delete and get rid of them too. So we can kind of fix this a little bit, let's say right about there-ish and uh, change my mind. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put that there. All right. So now we can scrub through this and we can see how this is going to look. So that works really well. Now, the other thing that we should probably be paying attention to is how long it's going to take to actually play through this. Now we do have a play button right here. And if we click this, it's going to go back to the beginning. We'll notice that it takes quite a bit of time to actually make this happen. And what's happening, go ahead and just pause this for a moment, is it's actually going to take 10 seconds to get all the way through this specific timeline piece. So we can speed this up. So I'm going to go ahead and just click in here. Let's say three seconds. We'll just make this really quick. And I'm going to go back to the beginning of my timeline. We can use this button for that. And then go ahead and hit play. And you can see we come flying in really, really quickly. Ta-da, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, maybe we want to add in a couple of extra tracks to this. And we can do that using this button right here. So let's actually back this up and let's fly into the boat. So what I'm going to do is while my timeline is here on the end of this, I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, new track. And of course, now I got to move my camera again. My bad. All right, cool. Now we have our camera set up for this. Let's go ahead and just make sure that this is here. I'm going to just delete this one because we don't want that. There we go. And let's go ahead and fly into the boat about like so. That looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and add a keyframe there. And just like before, um, I actually want to move my camera so right about here-ish. I'm still looking at the boat and add in another keyframe. Now again, we have our time right here. And we can now actually have two parts in here. We can name these should we need to. We can use all the little pieces that are built into this little ellipses. And we can collapse these too. So if we need to put multiples together, we can make that happen. So if I take my timeline and go all the way back to the beginning, and let's actually change the time on the second one to be kind of shorter as well. So we'll say that one's also three seconds. It's going to condense that down. Move this back to the beginning. Oh, by the way, you can move these and rearrange them too. So I can put the second one in front of the first one, like so. All right, so let's go ahead and move that all the way back. I'll go ahead and hit play. And you'll see we'll fly into this one and we'll immediately cut over to the second one when we get done with that. And there we go. And that's how you can go ahead and create some very easy animations. So up here inside of the actual breadcrumbs, we can go back and now we can see that we have three of these in here. And if I need to, I can go ahead and rename these ones. Let's go back. There we go. My bad. This little spot right here. We can rename these up here as well. So if you have any questions about actually creating some fly through animations, go ahead and just let us know.